Now let's go ahead and create a new product. Let's go to products and then add a new product. Let's call it basic and put basic product in the description. And I'm going to leave the state to be not published. And I'm going to deselect requires subscription. And here I can go ahead and select which APIs I would like to have in this product. And I'm going to select LinkedIn profile. And let's go ahead and create this product. Now let's go to the developer portal. And let's click on developer portal legacy. Let's go to products. As you can see here, I can see the basic product, even though I haven't published the product yet. And the reason for this is because I'm logged in as an administrator. And being an administrator will allow me to see all the published and unpublished products in my API management. And to prove this, let's sign out from the administrator account. And let's go back again to products. And as you can see, I'm not able to see the basic product anymore. Now, let's go to the basic product and go to settings and then publish our product. So we assume that we will be able to see it as a guest user, right? Now let's go back to the developer portal and refresh this page. And still, I'm not able to see the basic product. And the reason for this is because of the access controlled. As you can see here, only administrators group is allowed to have an access to the basic product. And what we need to do is to add another group, which is the guest group. Now let's go back to the developer portal and see how it look like. And again, it will not work. As you can see here, we're still missing the basic product. So let's go back to our product and let's go to settings. And this time, let's go ahead and check on the checkbox requires subscription. And let's go ahead and save our changes and then go back to the developer portal. And let's refresh this page. And as you can see here, we are able to see the basic product as a guest user in the developer portal. Now let's get into the basic product and let's go to LinkedIn profile. And let's try this API one more time. As you can see here, there is a 401 access denied error. And the reason for this, because we have specified that this product will require subscription. And being a guest user, we haven't subscribed to this product yet. So to fix this, let's go ahead and open the developer portal one more time, but as an administrator. And let's go back to products. Let's go to basic product, LinkedIn profile, and let's try this API. And as you can see here, a subscription key has been already provided. And let's go ahead and send the request and we got 200 response code. Do you remember last time when we tested this API, we needed to provide the subscription key ourselves, but now it's already provided for us. And the reason for this, because we set this API in a product and this is one of the benefits to make your APIs or organize your APIs in products. The developer portal will implicitly include the subscription key that's been created for this product. So let's go back to the API management and go to APIs in our product and let's remove this API from the basic product. And let's go back to the developer portal and refresh this page. Now, as you can see, the subscription key is no longer available in the developer portal for this API. And if I send a request, I'm going to get 401 access denied error. Now let's go ahead and add this API again. Get back to the developer portal. And here is the subscription key being provided and I can send requests successfully. Now, Let's look at those subscription keys and why they have been provided to the API. So when I created the basic product, a new subscription key has been created for the basic product. 
and it's been assigned to the administrator because I am the administrator of the API management. And I can do whatever I like to these keys. I can see or hide the content of these keys. As you can notice here, this is the key it's been used in the developer portal ending by 144. And this is the subscription key being used when I tested this API in the developer portal. Now, I also can suspend a certain subscription or cancel it or delete, and I have an option to regenerate primary or secondary keys in case of the keys got compromised or something. Now, let's have a look how this is going to look like for another user. As an administrator to the API management, I have the complete privilege to do whatever I like to the API management and I have access to do everything. But what about other users? So let's go ahead and create a new user. Let's call it user one. Now, now this user has been added to our list of users for the developer portal. Now let's go to the developer portal and sign out as an administrator and look back in as a user one. And let's go to products. And as you can see here, I cannot see the basic product anymore. So let's go back to the API management and try to figure it out. The reason for this, because user one has been assigned in the developers group. And the basic product has been assigned access control for only two groups, administrators and guests. And being a user, in the developers group will not allow me to see this product. To fix this, let's add developers group to this product as well. Now going back to the developer portal, we are going to see this product in here. So let's get inside. And let's go to LinkedIn profile and let's try this API and as you can see here, we have got 401 access denied error. And the reason for this, because we don't have a subscription key created for this user. And to fix this, let's go back to products, basic. And let's go ahead and click on subscribe button in here. And what this does, it's going to create a new subscription key for user one and assign it for the product, basic product. As you can see here, user one now has its own subscription key to use basic product. Now, if we go to the developer portal, we will be able to see the subscription key for this API. Now, let's go to this API and test it one more time. Link it in profile, try it. And now we are able to see that the subscription key has been provided in the developer portal. And now we can send a request and get 200 response code. Now let's go back to the API management and change the settings of the basic product to requires approval. And let's go ahead and save those changes. Then let's go to our subscription keys and let's go ahead and cancel the subscription for user one. Now let's go to the developer portal and refresh this page. And as you can see here, user one is no longer subscribed to the basic product because we just canceled his subscription. So let's go back to products, basic product, and then let's subscribe one more time. And as you can see here, the Subscription request has been submitted. And if we go back to the API management or go back to the subscription keys, we will be able to see the new subscription request has been submitted by user one. 
and also you can filter it out by seeing pending approval requests. And in here you can do whatever you like, whether to activate the subscription, or suspend, or reject, or cancel, or delete the subscription. So let's go ahead and activate this subscription. Going back to the developer portal, here the subscription key has been provided again for user 1, and we will be able to test our LinkedIn profile API as normal. Now let's go back to products page. Let's go to basic product again. And as you can see here, we can add multiple subscriptions uh, to the same product. And as you can see here, the subscription has been requested. And let's go to our API management and approve it. And there is no limit for us to add as many subscription keys for the same product as much as we like. And this is not a good approach to have multiple subscriptions for the same user. And to fix this, let's go back to our API management and let's put subscription count limit to one and let's deselect requires approval to make it easier for us. And let's go ahead and save our changes. Now let's go ahead and cancel both of these subscriptions for the user one. Now let's go back to products page and select the basic product and let's subscribe to this product. And this subscription is active already. Now let's go one more time to products page and try to add a new subscription. As you can see here, we don't have this option anymore because we have already subscribed to this product. And as soon as we cancel this subscription, we will be able to add a new subscription to this user. This is a good way to not flooding our API management with many subscriptions for the same user. Now let's have a look at APIs and here you can add more APIs to your product or remove APIs from your product. And also let's have a look at policies and it's one of the interesting features in the products in API management. And to understand it well, let's have a look at these two products that's been provided in the API management. We have a starter product and it has Echo API in it. And also we have unlimited products. And it's also assigned to Echo API. So we have two products assigned to the same API. Now let's have a look at the policies for the starter product. And as you can see here, there is a limit to call this API or this product five times each minute. So if someone is subscribed to the starter product, they will be able to call Echo APIs five times each minute. However, when they are subscribed to the unlimited product, they will be able to call the same API, which is Echo API unlimited times. This is how you can use products to provide a different usage limits for your APIs in the API management. Now let's go to access control. And this is where you specify which groups has access to a certain product in your API management. And here are the different subscription keys that are subscribed to a certain product. Now let's look at the subscription keys and we can add a new subscription from here. So let's put a name here, trial subscription. And let's allow tracing. And for the scope of the subscription, we can have it for the all APIs in our API management, which is pretty scary. Or you can assign it for a certain product, which is pretty much what we have done. Or you can become very specific and assign this subscription to a particular API. And in this case, you need to specify which API you want to create this subscription for. And also you need to select which user is going to be assigned to this subscription. So let's go ahead and create this subscription. As you can see here, we have created the subscription for the Echo API for user one. Now let's go ahead and clean up all of those canceled subscriptions for user one. And also let's delete the Echo API access and then let's go back to the developer portal 
and Now, as you can see here, user1 is assigned to the basic products. In this lecture, we have covered everything you need to know about products and subscriptions in the API management. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it, and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.